This is called Ollie Forgot by Ted Arnold. Chris Cross, applesauce. Chris Cross, applesauce. Ollie Forgot by Ted Arnold. This looks like a little cottage. No, it's a house. Like a cottage, yeah. A house. It's like a house. Yeah. Ollie was a good boy, but he had one big problem. He was very forgetful. He even had trouble remembering the last words anyone said to him. One day, his mother gave him three coins and sent him to market for a joint, a joint of beef, a wedge of cheese, a loaf of bread, two, if you please. Afraid he might forget his mother's words, Ollie walked off, saying loudly over and over. A joint of beef, a wedge of cheese, a loaf of bread, too, if you please. A joint of beef, a wedge of cheese, a loaf of bread, too, if you please. Soon, after he left the house, a terrible storm blew up. Ollie was so startled by the first clap of thunder, forgot his mother's words, and an old rhyme popped into his head. Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. But Ollie didn't let a little rain stop him. He no, walked. Kid. What is that? Um, lightning. Lightning. But Ollie didn't let a little rain stop him. He walked on down the road until he met a farmer working in his wheat field. All the while, Ollie kept repeating. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Away. It had been a very dry season, and the farmer was hoping for more rain. Ollie's words made him angry, and he chased the boy, shouting, <laughs> shouting, I hope it rains a long, long while, and as it rains, I'll sing and smile. Nuclear monsters. Ollie outran the farmer, but began saying the farmer's words, because they were all he could remember. Soon he came to a man whose house was flooded by rain. Ollie kept repeating, I hope it rains a long, long while, and as it rains, I'll sing and smile. The man had been hoping the rain would soon stop. When he heard Ollie's words, he became furious and ran after the boy, crying, Your words are foolish, as can be. A kick is what you need from me. <laughs> A kick? That's not nice. <laughs> Away Ollie ran, not knowing what he had done. By and by, he came upon a, min a minstrel singing love songs for pennies. Ollie kept saying over and over, your words are foolish as can be. A kick is what you need from me. Oh no, he's got that stuck in his head now. This outraged the minstrel, who had been singing a very beautiful verse. He beat poor, uh, poor Ollie with his lute and shouted, "I'd give my coins, though they are few, if I could get my hands on you." Mm-hmm. So this minstrel doesn't like Ollie Let's either. Smash his guitar. Yes. Ollie quickly escaped, but he remembered the minstrel's words. Farther along the road, a girl was selling puppies from a wagon. As Ollie petted one of the pups, he said, I'd give my coins, though they are few, if I could get my hands on you. So he copied what the minstrel said, huh? Yeah. He keeps copying whatever he hears in yeah. his mind. All day, the girl had been trying to sell the three puppies. She thought she finally had a paying customer. Ew. So she promptly spoke up, not wanting the other two puppies left behind. Two, two more pups looking for a home. Two more pups begging for a bone. Foolishly, Ollie gave the girl his coins and carried away all the puppies. Soon he came to a church where a man and a woman were being wed. Again and again he repeated, Two more pups looking for a home, two more pups begging for a bone. And he's saying what the 
the puppy sellers. The man and woman were furious that the boy would insult them in such a way. They leaped at Ollie, crying out, That child is such a lowly beast and not deserving in the least. And now they're mad at him for saying something to them about puppies. I don't know why. Poor Ollie ran away without looking back, not once understanding why everyone was so angry with him. Suddenly he came upon a mother and baby while he was repeating, that, ty- that child is such a lowly beast and not deserving in the least. <laughs> Do you see what he's doing? Yeah. He's saying what everybody else is saying. The young mother at once scolded the bad mouth boy and wagged her finger at him, saying, Hold your tongue now if you can. You should get on home, young man. Finally, Ollie came to the market. He had three puppies, no money, and no idea why he was there. <laughs> he doesn't remember. Because remember, he's supposed to go to the market. Among the crowds was a gentleman so busy giving a speech he had not noticed his house was on fire. House on fire. Ollie repeated the only words he could remember. Hold your tongue now, if you can. You should get on home, young man. <laughs> Hearing all his words, the man looked up quickly and ran to save his house from burning. He rewarded Ollie with ten gold coins and invited him to a feast of... A joint beast, that's what he was supposed to buy, a wedge of cheese, a loaf of bread, two if you please. Isn't that funny? One more sentence. Suddenly Ollie remembered his mother's words. Afraid he might forget again, he did not stay to eat. He thanked the man and went directly to the grocer where he purchased a joint of beef, a wedge of cheese, a loaf of bread, too, if you please. <laughs> Is that funny to you? Yeah. Then Ollie tried to remember his way home. <laughs> that was funny. Your daddy's here. That was a pretty good story, I thought. Did you like it? The end. Thanks for watching, friends. Subscribe and give us a thumbs up. You can follow us on Facebook as well. Click on Tumsky to subscribe. Click on the next show you want to watch. For more information, look under Show More. See you soon.